Hey, Internet. It's Shelly. So this is day 51 of uh, HRT. And uh, it is three weeks and two days of estradiol. And uh, yesterday was uh, Thanksgiving for some people in the United States. Um, we spent a day at a friend's house. Hey, Cindy. Thank you. Thank you, Stacy. Um, we uh, went over to their house, and a friend brought all the Thanksgiving food that we used to have growing up. And uh, it was wonderful. It was delicious. And um, really good to spend some quality time with uh, other people was good. Um, I keep looking into the wrong thing. <laughs> and most important of all, we got to touch base with our family, our sisters, Dawn, Lori, Carrie, Monica, and our mom, and uh, talked to them for a little bit. They were eating, and our uh, stepdad who was the, the father figure for most of our life um, he fell and uh, so there's some health issues going on that are making this a really horrible not horrible but really hard um, holiday season time um, and uh, we cried yesterday when we woke up, just hearing some, reading some messages uh, that reminded us how fleeting life is and how uh, and just how precious it is. And so we hope that if you celebrated. Thanksgiving yesterday that you had a good time that your family was not t too terrible <laughs> and if you didn't celebrate yesterday that's okay too um, but the, the larger idea that Thanksgiving has been turned in not turned into but turned away from is just giving thanks and a yearly kind of a reminder that seasons come and seasons go and every new season is a new time to be who you truly are and so for us this has been really um, obviously a year of change and we posted about this on Facebook and, and you know there's probably people in our friends on social media who don't approve of what we're doing maybe you know um, but we don't focus on them we focus on um, trying to feel at ease in our transness and if like we were listening to one of the trans creators, oops, we were listening to one of the trans creators that we follow on YouTube yesterday and they were talking about the, um, what do you pursue? Do you pursue love or money? And they were, they had been on a date and we were thinking about so, oh, <laughs> got a little message. Uh, we'll check that out in a minute. But we were thinking about that. We were thinking it's so um, it's so far away from us to think about establishing a, a romantic relationship with someone because we had 50 years plus with this incredibly false, incredibly disruptive, destructive 
idea of what love was and what our role in that was. And it's not peculiar to us. It's certainly not something that we uh, relish thinking about now. But before we can really uh, have that kind of relationship with someone, we need to feel comfortable in ourselves, uh, in our own identity, in our own body. And in a lot of ways, this is kind of, for us, this is a big game of catch up, which is because we're so young and into our journey and a transition and all of these gender affirming treatments take years to work through sometimes. And so we're just a baby in a way. But we're also, we have this whole, you know, history, this whole life that we, we didn't even know that was a possibility. And so, there's, there's, a, there's a tendency to want to rub, to run ahead, if that makes sense, to get somewhere fast. And that is the hardest thing, the hardest thing for us to, to really deal with in a lot of ways is just because The people who are gender normative or, or who identify with their gender they were assigned at birth have had a lifetime to live in their body to their, their identity and to accept it and <laughs> and to know what the, the feelings and, and the, the emotions and the physical uh, things that are going on and we, we haven't had that. We don't have that that muscle memory, that body memory. And we don't know what hair felt felt like. We actually like this wig, by the way. And we're also wearing our little contacts. And our mom knows the contact or our sister knows the contacts yesterday. <laughs> and they were saying, watch the YouTube videos for makeup tips. <laughs> so we're still uh, we don't have any makeup on this morning, but we wanted to, um, to record this video now because it's uh, it's early and our thoughts are going and stuff like that. And um, we were outside, uh, and all the leaves have fallen off the trees now, and it's 20 degrees, freezing. <laughs> but we were outside for just a couple of minutes and we took some photos and the moon was like a half of a moon and it was right overhead and then the trees look like uh, capillaries or like um, the lung um, you know like there were lungs like the the lungs of the earth and um, except they're going out into the air instead of inside. Anyway, that was a weird thought. <laughs> um, so, today is kind of another day. We have stuff to do, always stuff to do. Laundry, work, <laughs> um, art, music. And, uh, if you're listening to this, uh, we hope that your day is what is going well. We would love to hear your comments, your thoughts. Leave them in the, in the comments below. Like, subscribe, do all that stuff. We we're just kind of getting on our um, on our feet with our channel now, 
we have some ideas of stuff that we want to do in addition to the these little updates um, but that's going to take time and uh, we have so so many issues to work through <laughs> and so little time to do it but um, but we're thankful for for this day today and we hope that you're having a wonderful day and we love you all. and we'll talk to you next time take care